Hi everybody and thank you for watching. So here is my Rite Aid haul for this week. So to be honest, I feel like it's a bit slow at Rite Aid. I did do two transactions here. We do have the in-ad booster that if you spend $50, you can get $10 back. We do have four unique barcodes as usual. I saw Real Deals community tab. She did post all four of them. So there's one in the ad. There's one on their social media website. There's one on the Rite Aid website and there's one in the email. So you can, if you wanted to, do four separate transactions totaling $50 each and then get $10 back on each of those. I did do two transactions here. I do have two cards. So I did all of those on one card and this on another card. So I did use the in-ad coupon on both of my cards so i could go back and do three transactions on each of them if i wanted to not sure if i'll go back to rite aid um uh, i'll see if i have time throughout the week but i did do a few deals here and i was trying to complete a bonus cash challenge and just trying to get to my 50 dollars mark so like always i'll go the breakdown of each of the deals show you my receipt and let you know how much i paid okay so for the first transaction i picked up these i picked up two crests and two oral b so they're on promotion for 3.99 buy two get four dollars back we do have a three off of two digital coupon um when she rang it up it did i saw the three dollar digital coupon but then i handed her a two dollar crest coupon from uh png good every day and then a two dollar rob and then the three dollar uh knocked out i don't know what happened there i was hoping that i could use two two dollars and then the three dollars so i am going to call customer service about that one um because I should have got the $3 off on the other two, and then I used a $2 and a $2. Um, in the end, this worked out. Um, I also have an RLB bonus cash challenge. I just needed about four more dollars, I think it is, to get the tier three, and then I got $3.40 back on that one. So that's a really good deal there on that. The only reason why I picked up the crest is because these were the only two that my store had. I did go to another store and they were completely stocked. But while I was there, I decided to do two Crest and then two Oral B. Another deal that I did is these Willow Bum. So they're on promotion for 25% off. Buy one, get $5 back. So you can pick up the patches or you can pick up the cream. So they are $9.99. Taking 25% off will make it $7.49. Getting $5 back work out to be a cost of $2.49. So that's not bad for these ones here. So I did pick up those. I did pick up a bounty. They're on special for $5.99. No big deal there. Um, but I did have a bonus cash challenge. And I just needed, I think, four more dollars or three more dollars to complete the bonus cash challenge and I should get $3.10 back. So I did do that and I got my uh, bonus cash challenge. And then the other deal that I did, I did the Kraft Mac and Cheese and I did these Chow Mein. So the Chow Mein, they are $1.39 each. There is a monthly promotion that if you buy two, you get $1 back. So that makes it a cost of a dollar um $1.78 for two of them but we do have this weekly promotion that if you spend $15 you get $3 back and that is included so that is a monthly deal that's double dipping with the weekly deal and the macaroni and cheese their regular price at $2.29 I picked up five of them because there is also a 30 cent I bought a rebate on those so that's how it worked out so I did pick up all of those I think it came to about $17 for all of them I got um five dollars back in bonus cash as well as a dollar fifty back for my bottle so it's a bit of a cost but it did in the big scheme of things it worked out with my other items so i'll just go over my receipt and let you know the complete breakdown so over here you have the five craft macaroni and cheese there are the chow mein oh i did also want to mention so when i was in the store i found it completely weird I was going through all the mac and cheese in my store and I was double checking all of the expiry dates to make sure that I got one that was the latest one. And there was, I would say, 20 of them that were expired. So not just the regular packets, I'm talking about all the other ones, everything that was really on special that's part of this promotion, the four packs, the little um, 
the little cup ones, they had expiry dates from like August, November last year, January this year, February this year. I was so surprised. Like I was letting the manager know. Um, I've befriended with the manager now. And I was like, dude, you got to bring a shopping cart here because like more than half of these are expired. I was able to find five of these. They expire May this year. So I really have to basically eat them. It's, it is best before, but I do... I'm going to try and get my kids to eat these at least one a week until they expire. But yeah, do check your store. Make sure you're always checking expiry dates on food because I was completely shocked. He was shocked too because he notified me that usually there's a lady that they hire and they come around and double check all of the expiry dates. And how could she have missed some that expired August and November last year? So he was shocked as well. But yeah, I wanted to mention that. Check your expiry dates on products whenever you're buying products especially food so i did pick up those um so over here you've got uh the four chow min at a dollar 39 there's my seven off of 35 there's my bounty on special for 5.99 there's my two crests and then there's my two dollar coupon there is my two or will be in the two dollar coupon honestly i had some extra two dollar coupons that i printed from um PNG good every day. I should have just used them and not expect the three dollar digital to come off. But I am gonna call customer service to see if I can get that three dollars. There are the two uh, Nature's Willow Bum um, at twenty five percent off, so they are seven forty nine. So altogether, I paid forty five fifty nine. I got thirty three dollars back in a bonus cash. So you can see here five for the Willow. Uh, a dollar each for the chow mein, four dollars for the crest, five dollars for the willow, and then ten dollars for the circular. So my complete breakdown. So before all coupons, it was fifty three ninety seven. After all coupons and tax, I paid forty five fifty nine. I got thirty three dollars back in bonus cash. With my bonus cash challenge, I had my RLB and my bounty, so I should get six dollars and fifty cents back. For my barter, I got a dollar fifty back on the craft mac and cheese, so that's three times thirty cents. And then I'm hoping to get three dollars back from customer service because of my digital coupon. So all in all, if I do get that three dollars back from customer service, this all worked out to be a cost of a dollar fifty nine, which is amazing considering I paid two dollars and sixty five cents in tax. So a really good deal there on all of those items. And then I went to another store. I picked up four of the ROB. I ended up using four uh, two dollar coupons. I picked up two more of the um, Willow Bum. I was so thankful that they still had two left in my store. And then I decided to pick up the U by Kotex. So I uh, the U by Kotex, they're on special. Buy one, get 50% off. Buy two, get three dollars back. The limit is two. Um, it's part of the same promotion with the uh, poise. The reason why I picked up these is I actually have a fetch rewards bonus. If I spend $30, I get 3,500 points, which is like $3.50. I just need to spend $20 more. Um, I don't know what happened, but it only gave me, I'm now short 84 cents to get that 350. So I was really surprised how fetch is just completely weird. Sometimes they look at the number include the amount minus the coupon sometimes it takes the full value amount i don't know so i was short 84 cents i was hoping this could be a money maker because of my fetch but i'm gonna have to probably go to the store and pick up like a small liner or something like that to complete that deal but yeah i did the you buy kotex as well and then we do have two dollar coupons on those from a previous insert they don't expire to like mid-may so hopefully you have those so i did pick up two liners and then i picked up two pads so that's my transaction there so i got four oral b the two willow and then the four you by kotex so i'll show you my receipt really quickly the, there's the oral b for 3.99 with my two dollar coupon the other one with the two dollar coupon i had to buy a bag because i forgot to bring a bag um there's the other two oral b there is the nature's willow i did have a seven off of 35 catalina coupon and so there's the pad so one is 769 the other one rang up half price at 364 and then i had a two dollar off two coupon the liner is 669 and then the second one is 314 with a two dollar coupon so all together for everything before coupons it was 52
20. After coupons, it's 33.20, including tax, it's 35.28. I got $34 back. So that's already amazing there. So that's like only a cost of $1.28. So over here, you can see there is the two five dollars for the willow the two three dollars for the you buy cotex and the two four dollars for the crest and then the ten dollars for the circular so basically for this one work out to be a cost of a dollar 28 but then i do have enough points to basically make another two dollars so if you want to incorporate the points this work out to be free and a money maker i am hoping that i'm going to go to the store um sometime this week and finish off that and I probably might pick up some poise because we do have Ibotta rebates on the poise as well. Um, but yeah, I'll see if I can go to the store this week. But other than that, I'm happy to pick up all these items. On this card here, I've basically done 9 out of my 10 bonus cash challenges, which is amazing. Um, on this one here, I've done 7 out of my 10. So I still have quite a bit to go on this one. But come May, I'm going to have a whole bunch of bonus cash with my bonus cash challenges. It's going to be amazing. Um, so depending on how this month goes, it may come to the point where I might miss a week or two until I get my bonus cash challenges. Because I have been, um, throughout these few weeks, spending a little bit out of my pocket or my PayPal um, pocket. Uh, but... Other than that, I'm still happy to pick up all these items. Like, these are items that we will use. I am interested to try these pain reliever patches. And then, um, yeah, we go through mac and cheese. We um, This is something that I've never tried before. So I am interested to try this. Um, and so, yeah. So, yeah, that's basically my Rite Aid haul. So on one transaction, I spent $1.28. On the other one, I spent $1.59. So all up for all of this, it would have cost um, before all coupons and everything. Talking about like a hundred and six dollars, I ended up paying two dollars and about eighty eight cents. So two dollars and eighty eight cents for all this, under three dollars, and that's including tax. Between the two transactions, I spent almost four dollars in tax. So it's amazing. I spent less than tax on all of these, and it would have cost me a hundred and six dollars. So yeah, here is my Rite Aid haul. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> Gah, 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 gah,